want to be a science badass? Okay. All right. You don't have a computer. All right. But you know that gravity drops off as the distance squared. Okay. But you don't have a computer to calculate the force of gravity mm -hmm. for all these stars at all times. Eric Holmberg, when was this? In the forties? Yeah, in the forties. Yeah. Eric Holmberg, a, a colleague a, of a, another generation, a giant in the wanted field. to okay. simulate colliding galaxies. Okay. And he, there's no computers, so he took light bulbs and light meters and measured the intensity of the light because light drops off as the distance squared. Right. And he used light as a proxy for gravity. And he had a mechanical, he had a table with like pegs in it and it, he, would feel, he would see which way the light was, and he'd move his light bulbs according to what the light meters told him he should do. And he watched the evolution of a colliding when, system. When you that read the paper, is it, it's, it's bad. Yes. Yes. When, yes. When you read the paper, you know, dating back to the 1940s, it is just, you're just amazed at how creative and how completely out of the box he was thinking. Absolutely. Right. Remarkable. Right. Right. Oh my. Yeah, he was using pen and paper right. and light meters to do what co modern computers do today. But what I, just what, what is just so, uh, like, give me a fist bump for Eric Holmberg. <laughs>